Alright, I have been um, looking at the human body and um, creatures in general and I found that the earth is constructed of creatures. And I also found that Mars seems to have the identical same conditions. And I started to study the uh, Mars crab. And the Mars crab, I will show you in a minute, but I decided that it was a blood supply and return. So you have the arterial and you have the, the vein. Now, if you looked at what the academics tell us the blood supply looks like, they are identical. And they push blood down through an open tube, no um, valve whatsoever, and it squirts through here and there, and then it, it makes its way over to the artery, I mean to the uh, vein, which slurps it back up and sends it back up. Now there's a valve, you see this valve? There's a valve inside these veins which will not allow the blood to go backwards and contaminate the good blood. Now, think about this. This is an artist's rendition, and this is what academia teaches everybody. This is what the whole inside of your body looks like, and this is just not right. Uh, and I will prove to you it's not right. Now, they, they show this, and, and this is all you need to do with the vein side is a suction. So you really don't need all of these little tiny vessels to t attach to all these other little tiny vessels. They flow in a in a sort of a soupiness and then they're sucked back up in here by very limited quantities of vessels and I will show you that because it's already been determined as a fact because they actually did it in a human body in plastic and I'll show you that right now um, hold on one second right, here it is right here now if you look at this these are all arteries. This is all arterial. This is all FeO3 blood, which is oxygenated blood. And then it slurps back up through the blue veins and into areas that are, 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 are the, the suction devices that suck it back up in there. They don't have, these, these don't have the same kind of vascularization and vessels that shoot off of the sides of the arteries. The arteries have to supply blood to every single thing. This just has to suck it up. So it's like having uh, a, a thousand different little holes that have to be supplied, and then after it goes through them, it just gets slurped back up through one big tube. So the reality of the situation is not what we are being told, and that's literally in everything that we are told. And so please look to things yourself. Don't accept what people tell you because they're just readers. All of these professors literally are just readers, and in addition to that, they are not allowed to speak freely. Trust me, they are not allowed to speak freely. If they do, they'll be fired. And that's another proven fact, and I will show you that right now. Now, I am extremely intimate with the details of this case. This guy found, well, first of all, Mary Schweitzer found blood that was blood from a, a T-Rex that they had cut in half and gave her little scraps of it. They never look inside, so they gave her the little scraps. She took them and, and, and worked with them like a scientist and found out that there was blood and tissue matter inside and then had it looked at it and, and, and then realized it was only about 3,000 years old. And this guy started talking about it, they fired him. So he's got a lawsuit against it because it says right here, C.S. Um, scientist fired after soft tissue found on dinosaur fossil. And that is the attitude that they have. They will not allow these people to speak. So I'm speaking for them. All right, I have found all of these features, identical features in the mud fossils that I have here that I have had tested and they're tested as human DNA in the mud fossils that I have here. And I had them tested, three TNA tests. Now, this is the Mars crab, and you see that red ferrous material, and you see all these little shooting out crab-like arms? That is an arterial vascular network that supplies blood to this tissue, and they are in layers of tissue exactly as you see here as a human being or any creature has and in between it is the red blood that services the tissue layers and this is the arterial investment that does that and above it as they always are is the vein which sucks that blood back up and that vein does not have that same arterial uh, vascularization as I just showed you in an actual human being 
So we really have to get back to reality. And this is Mars, and that was alive. Earth is alive. This uh, everything I found everything on Mars. It's uh, everything on Earth too, and it's uh, they're all structures of creatures. I have all of this stuff DNA tested, CAT scanned. Uh, it just has to be looked at, and it's refused, just like that guy that got fired. And I am intimate with that those details, and I can tell you a little story here, and I'm gonna. I was refused from everybody. Yale, Harvard, nobody will talk to me. They've all pretty much denied to respond to me. They will not even respond. None of them. And I've done with dozens and dozens and dozens of universities all over the world, except Russia. They talk to me. Uh, but, and they agree. Now, what happened was I found out about Mary Schweitzer and so forth, and the guy that put the kibosh on her was Steve Salzberg, which is a professor at, Yale, at, at Johns Hopkins. I took a course at Johns Hopkins, a genomics course with him. He refused to look at my my evidence, which it took years to, to come up with all my DNA and all of the business, and I sent it to him, and with eight minutes, he responded with the most arrogant, nasty replies, and he refuses to talk to me. And that was my professor. So this is the wall we're up against. That's absolute facts. I have all the documents. I can show anybody who wants to see this is a true story. Yale refuses to talk to me. I finally hit everybody in Yale with a kind of a nasty thing, the president and all of them. I, I did to everybody I could find, and I did get a response and said, don't bother us again. Call somebody else. That's what happened. And that was from, um, I can't remember his name, but it was very arrogant nasty response. And the other time I tried to call him, he just hung up on me, never said a word. So that is what we're up against. It's just a fact.